Greetings in the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our soon and coming King. If you are not yet a Christian, I would encourage you uh, to seek the Lord while you may be found, call upon him while he's near. And if the Lord draws you to himself, could you please accept his invitation today? Confess your all your sins to him, ask him to come into your heart and be your Lord today. Today's word of encouragement comes to us from the book of John, chapter 14, verse 26 to 27. I greet all the subscribers and I thank you for taking the time out just to view this channel. Um, it's a blessing to know that uh, you are at least watching these videos. God bless you. So in this um, particular encouragement today, it's titled The Gift of Peace gift of peace in John chapter 14 verse 26 to 27 we read but the comforter which is the Holy Ghost whom the Father will send in my name he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I said unto you peace I leave with you my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. When we look at this chapter, um, we see Jesus um, in an attempt to comfort his disciple. It was close to the time of his departure from the earth. And he did not want to leave his disciple without any words of comfort. Today we may find ourselves in that same position where we are in need of comfort. But we can be confident today that the Lord Jesus Christ, being the God of all comfort, knows how to comfort us in the times when we need it the most. Most of the chapter is actually words that Jesus spoke. Therefore, we understand then that these words spoken are coming from a place of love and understanding. He begins his words of comfort by saying in verse 1, Let not your heart be troubled. In other words, let not your heart be agitated or stressed stirred because of his departure and I want to say to someone today whatever it is that is causing your heart to be troubled your heart to be agitated uh, let not your heart be troubled today my encouragement to you is to let not your heart be troubled stirred or agitated Jesus went on to give details of this his departure not to discourage them, but he was encouraging them that even though he will not be with them, he will provide comfort, guidance, memory recovery of his words, and the assurance that they would not be alone. My God, sometimes we feel so all alone, but Jesus is guaranteeing them that he will not leave them alone. Today you might be alone in your situation, in your family, but be encouraged today that Jesus will never leave you alone. The promise of having a comforter and not being lonely in this time is none other or is provided by no other person but the Holy Spirit of God. Jesus told the disciples in verse 15 to 18 that if they love him they should keep his commandments if they do they would pray the father and he will give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever my god what a promise that the holy spirit uh, being titled or dubbed as the comforter will be with us forever 
So when I'm down, the Holy Ghost is with me. When I'm stressed, the Holy Ghost is with me. When my heart is troubled or stirred or agitated, my God, I can take comfort in him to know that he is with me today. And he will not just be with me today, but he will abide with me forever. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. The world does not know the Holy Ghost. The world does not see the Holy Ghost. But you or he know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be with you, my God. What an awesome promise. The Holy Spirit will come and he will take the place of Jesus. He will be another comforter, one like Jesus was. The Holy Spirit will abide or dwell with us forever. Not just one day, nor two days, but with us forever. The comforter will abide, dwell, live with you and in us forever. This is so comforting that if I love Jesus and keep his commandment, number one, I'll never be alone. Whether it's good times or bad times, whether it's a pandemic or it's normal times, I will have someone that comforts me. I will have someone that comes alongside me, my God. I will have the comforter in me all the time or forever. Because when he comes, he shall dwell in me forever. So we get now to verse 26 to 27. And Jesus issues a second reminder of the Holy Ghost. He said, the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. So in case you miss it, he's telling you that the comforter is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name. He shall teach you, number one, of all things. So the Holy Ghost will be a teacher that will teach you all things. Whatsoever I have said unto you, number two, he will bring those things into remembrance. So the Holy Ghost will teach you of all things. And number two, he will bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever Jesus has spoken before. Apart from the benefits I listed above of having the comforter, the intercessor, the consoler of my soul, the advocate, he said, he shall teach you all things. He shall bring all things to your remembrance. One would have thought that would be enough. But Jesus continued in verse 27 by offering peace, my God. And it is the gift of peace. He said, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled a second time, neither let it be afraid, because I have given you peace, not the, the peace that the world gives, but the peace that comes from heaven above. And number two, this peace or quietness or rest is not of the world. The peace is from Jesus. And he has left this peace for the disciple and every believer today. My peace I give to you. My peace I leave unto you. Number three, this peace will assist in allowing you not to be troubled, stirred, or agitated. Let not your heart be troubled, my brother. Let not your heart be troubled, my sister, neither let it be afraid. Because you have the peace of God, you have the comfort of God, you have the rest in God, not as the world gives, 
but as the peace that comes from Jesus Christ. So it will not allow you to be afraid. The question is, how can we access this peace? The word declares in Philippians chapter 4 verse 7, And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. What a promise that it doesn't matter what I'm going through, this peace that passeth all understanding, this peace of God shall keep my heart and my mind through Jesus Christ. This peace is beyond the human comprehension or understanding. It will keep your heart, my brother. It will keep your heart, my sister. And it also keeps our minds through Jesus Christ. We access this peace by allowing my mind to stay upon God. Oh my God, he says, Isaiah 26 verse 3 tells us, Thou wilt keep me in perfect peace, not just peace, but perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusts in thee. So if you want the peace of God, he's saying that you should keep my God, you will keep you in perfect, thou will keep you in perfect peace. If your mind is stayed on thee, on him because you trust him. Do you want that peace today, my brothers? Do you want that peace today, my sisters? Trust in the Lord Jesus Christ today. And you will get this peace that he promised. He says, my peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world gives, giveth. Give I unto you, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. It doesn't matter what is happening in this crazy world that we come to live in. Let not your heart be troubled because you have the peace that passeth all understanding. Father, release your peace upon your people now and allow their minds not to be troubled, agitated or stirred because they believe on you, they trust in you, and they have confidence in you. Let this peace that the world didn't give or the world cannot take away be their portion today in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. What good.